What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. If you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Nasser and I'm now a third year medical student studying at King's College London. And in today's video, I wanted to do an everyday carry or an EDC video. It's something that I've been interested in for quite some time and I thought it would be interesting to show you guys the items that I use on a daily basis, how it is that I use them and why they improve my life. All right, I'm not 100% sure where to start, but I guess let's start with my iPhone. This is the red iPhone 8. This is the first and only iPhone that I've ever bought. Before I bought this iPhone, I was a hardcore Samsung user. I used to only buy Samsung phones and think they were the best thing in the world. So I bought this iPhone after I purchased my MacBook and it was probably one of the best decisions that I made. The iPhone works very, very well with the MacBook and of course my iPad and even my AirPods, which I'll talk about in a bit. But basically within the Apple ecosystem, everything just connects, everything syncs and there's so much ease of use between the different devices. And for me, something that I think about every single second of the day is efficiency and productivity and how I can save time and cut corners. And so even if I can shave off a couple of seconds in the actions that I perform every day by having a bunch of Apple devices that work together very well, then I'm happy to do it and I will use it whenever I can. When the iPhone 10 came out, I actually really wanted to upgrade to it, but I couldn't get over the fact that it had such a massive notch at the top. And on top of that, it uses Face ID, which I'm really not a fan of. I'm a huge advocate for the fingerprint scanner because I like to have my phone laying on the table somewhere and I just click on it in order to see what's going on. So I've decided to hold off. I'm sticking with my trusty eight for another year until the new iPhone comes out and assuming that it meets all of the requirements that I want, I'm gonna upgrade then. The next thing that I wanna talk about is probably my favorite thing on this table and that is this card holder by a company called Exter. Now what's really cool about this wallet is that it's incredibly slim. It's very, very thin. It has almost no profile at all and it holds up to six cards. And on top of that, it has this really cool card opening and closing mechanism which is just really fun to use. So before this wallet, I also had a very thin, slim and classy card holder by Mont Blanc. So I used to use this wallet, which I actually really enjoyed and have nothing bad to say about. But ever since I've picked up this wallet and started using this opening and closing mechanism, I just can't let it go. The wallet comes with this GPS tracking device. So if you ever lose your wallet, you can track it through an app on your phone and you can double click this button over here and it will ring your phone or you can open the app on your phone and click a button which will ring your wallet. Since I'm really careful with my things, I know that I'm never gonna lose my wallet and so personally I don't use this on top of that it helps keep my wallet as thin and small as possible but this is really useful if you're someone who misplaces your wallet all the time last time I showed this wallet in a video you guys left me a bunch of comments asking me where I got it from so I'll leave a link in the description and in a pinned comment down below so you can check it out all right now moving on to my two watches over here this is the watch that I've been wearing on my wrist day in and day out for pretty much the last six or seven years now. As you guys can tell, I have scratched it up. I've beat it up. It has been on my wrist literally nonstop for about six or seven years. It's a cycle watch that my dad got me when I graduated from high school and I've worn it literally every single day. But that's something that's really important to me with watches is that they're comfortable to wear all the time and you basically never need to take them off. Now I know this is gonna sound crazy, but when I have a watch on my wrist and I can look at it at a glance, I'm saving a little bit of time instead of pulling out my phone, turning it on and then looking at the clock. Obviously, I'm only saving a small amount of time each time that I do this, but over months or years, I'm I'm sure I'm saving myself a lot of time. Honestly, I really like this watch and it's something that I feel is very classic and can go with pretty much any outfit that I wear. I love the idea that I'm always wearing something on my wrist, which is mechanical, has no electronic components and just works and runs by itself. So recently I got an upgrade. This is a Rolex two-tone date just. It's an absolutely beautiful watch that I really enjoy wearing and I don't think I'll need to change or upgrade my watch for the next 10 years or so. I feel like this is a much more mature watch. It's more of an adult watch and obviously I'm taking really really good care of it. The next thing that I want to talk about is this pair of noise cancelling headphones. These have a really long name. I'm pretty sure it's the Sony WH-1000XM3s. I'll leave a corrected version of that over here. Anyways, these are an absolute necessity for me because I live in central London, which means a big part of my daily life is commuting on the London Underground, which can be extremely loud at times. In fact, one of the tube journeys that I make every single day is in the top three loudest tube journeys in the whole of London. So having a noise cancelling pair of headphones is very, very valuable to me. It removes a lot of that noise, decreases my stress levels, and just makes my time commuting, listening to audiobooks or whatever, that much more enjoyable.
enjoyable. On top of that, obviously they're really amazing on airplanes for blocking out all of that ambient noise and just for listening to music. They have a really good sound profile as well. So these are a bit more on the expensive side, but I find them very worth the money. Personally, I like to spend a bit more money on something that I know is gonna last me for a long time rather than buying something that's cheaper that I'll have to replace more often. All right, enough about the headphones. Now I'm gonna move on to talk about the AirPods. Now I'm sure a bunch of you are wondering, hey Nasser, why do you have both a pair of noise canceling headphones and a pair of AirPods that you carry with you every single day? Good question. And the answer is that these have two very different use cases for me. The noise canceling headphones are what I use every single day while commuting and also at the library if I wanna block out all of the noise and focus on my studies. And then these AirPods are what I use for basically every other situation. They're so tiny and portable. And then when I open them, they instantly pair with my iPhone, my iPad or my MacBook. So they're highly valuable for me when speed or efficiency is key. If I know that I'm just gonna listen to one song or make a small journey, it's a lot easier to pull these out, slot them in, as opposed to taking these headphones out of my bag, putting them on, turning them off, etc. Okay, and the next thing that I wanna talk about is my vlogging camera, which is up there recording the top-down shot that you see here. This vlogging camera is the Sony RX100 Mark VII. And the reason it's such an incredible camera is it basically serves the same function as the big camera that I'm using to record this view over here, which is the Sony A6400, except it's so small that it fits in the palm of my hand or in the pockets of my trousers or jacket. And that's incredibly valuable for me because when I'm running around the city to and from class, vlogging, making videos, I need to be able to pull out my camera and get the shot that I want to capture at the time that it's actually happening. With this camera that has a huge microphone on top of it and is usually attached to a massive tripod as well, there's too much latency period between seeing something that I want to film, taking off my bag, opening it up, pulling out the vlog setup, turning on the camera and then filming. It's something that's made filming for me much more accessible, much more easy and has allowed me to upload even more videos on this channel. It's made me really excited to do even more vlogs because I know I can take it around with me wherever I want, pull it out quickly and just shoot, shaving off even more of those vital seconds every single day. Now going along with that vlogging camera is this small tripod setup over here. This is the smallest tripod setup that I've managed to find anywhere. I was on Amazon looking for small tripods for the longest time and every one that came was about this tall in comparison to this. So this is actually a mashup between three different things. This is a stand from a phone stabilizer that my friends from Canada got me when I started this whole YouTube channel. This is a Joby Gorillapod head from the 1K tripod. And then this is a Manfrotto head plate. So it's a mixture of three different products that have come together in order to make what I think is the smallest possible tripod that you can have. So this is great because it's very light and it's very small, obviously. So I leave it in my bag all the time, just in case I wanna put my vlogging camera on a tripod and set up a shot where I can move around and have my hands free. The second last thing that I wanna talk about is this journal here here by Moleskin. It has my initials engraved at the bottom. Alexia got it for me for Christmas. And the reason that I'm really enjoying using it is because although I'm always promoting going paperless and in general, I use almost no paper in my life, I find that for my to-do list specifically, if I don't physically write it down on a piece of paper, I'll never get it done. The to-do list apps on my phone or on my laptop that I used to use, I just wouldn't check often enough to make sure that I actually get everything done. And so I'm trying to get into the habit of using a physical journal or a physical notepad in order to make sure that I remember everything and I don't forget about my appointments and deadlines. I've also tied a small knot to the top of this string here so that I can permanently attach this pen and that way I'll never be without a pen if I ever need to jot down something in the journal. All right, and then last but not least is a recent purchase which I've also enjoyed quite a bit. It is this Chili's water bottle. Now why I like this in comparison to a lot of other water bottles that I've tried is A, it actually doesn't leak, which is fantastic because I can throw it in my bag without worrying about all of these electronic components that are in there as well. And on top of that, it actually keeps drinks cold or hot for much longer than a lot of the other thermoses that I've used in the past. So if you guys are looking for a thermos and you're worried about leaking or it not being that good at keeping things warm, honestly, these Chili's water bottles, I would highly recommend. And all right guys, I think I've talked about everything that's here on the desk now. I hope you enjoyed this everyday carry or EDC video. I know it's different to a lot of the things that I usually upload here on the channel, but hopefully you're enjoying something new in this variety of videos. Anyways, if you did enjoy, please do leave me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to my channel to see more content from me in the future. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.
And the last thing that I carry every single day is a mini Alexia in my back pocket. 